Lord has been satisfied till now, my Lord, and pity and have mercy upon us, as you are accustomed to do at every hour, O Lord, of our Father and Son, and Holy Spirit, for the Amen. O wise be thou, wonder of us, of us our household, and great treasury supply, abundantly every assistance and blessing. In your mercy we supplicate you, tell no, my Lord, and pity and have mercy upon us, as you are accustomed to do at every hour, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever and me. اگر تا دلوات پلیپسای خای بارخ ما میکوش میکوش از اول تیچن هم میکوش اینی میره تلوگیف هیتیو Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result. It has become clear throughout the whole palace, guard and to everyone else, that I am in chains and Christ, for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivery, but others out of goodwill. The latter do so out of love, knowing that I am put for the defense of the gospel. The former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely supposing that they can stir up trouble for me while I am in chains. But what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice. For I know that through your prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ that has happened to me will turn out to my deliverance. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is again. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better for by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain, and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that through my being with you again, your boasting in Christ Jesus will abound on account of me. sing his praises through the goodness of his compassion. Amen. Amen. May the sweet aroma which wafted from <coughs> you, my Lord, at the time when Mary the sinner poured fragrant oil upon your head, be joyed with this incense which we offer to your honor and for the pardon of our dead senses. O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever be.
That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the seaside, and many people gathered around him so that he had to go up and sit in a boat. And all the people stood on the seashore, and he spoke many things to them in parable and said, Behold, a sower went out and saw, and when he had sown, uh, sown some seed fell on the roadside, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell upon the rock when was not sufficient soil, and it sprang up earlier because the ground wasn't deep enough, but when the sun shined, it was scourged, and because it had no root, it dried up. And other seed fell among thistles, and the thistles sprang up and scourged and other seed fell on good soil and bore fruit some 100 and some 60 and some 30. He who has ear to hear, let him hear. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
and ask of you, fulfill with us your grace and pour forth through us your gift. And may the mercies and compassion of your Godhead be with the pardon of the debts of your people and for the forgiveness of the sin of the all the shape of your pasture, whom you have chosen for yourself in your grace and mercies, O good one and friend of men, Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. O my Lord, grant us in your compassion that we may all together equal in all the days of all life, sir. Please your Godhead with good works of righteousness, which is satisfy and propitiate the glory of the glorious will of your Lordship. <coughs> May we be worthy with the aid of your grace to lift up to your praise, honor, confession, and worship at every hour, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
תמשיך על חוק בדלה, לא תרבו את הדרוכת חודשתם עם כולם, אשר עוף על זמן, כל העולם Amen. 
طابت من نو فکل و نمرت من نو ثاطی بذو لیمانی لیمانی مرتنگو جرابا ال حروب پاسی نم بیش از خیل و ده بیش از خیل و ده خیل مکوتا خیل هوش نگا با او تشوفان دشم یوبرا ادیا کنده دن نم و داد دنامی Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. We celebrate this week together the second, actually the second week of Elijah. And the spirit of Elijah is about preparing the world, the, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, as he said in his scripture and his scripture, he will send the prophet Elijah to you before that great dreadful day of the Lord comes. We saw how Elijah actually came and represent. Uh, and John the Baptist, as Jesus said several times, Elijah has come, and they have done to him everything they wished, just as is written about him in the scripture. And those actually weeks of Elijah that we actually uh, celebrate in those period of time and year, it's about, as I told you, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And last the, the last week's actually was about repentance, and those weeks is about salvation. We gain salvation from those weeks as we actually celebrating within the church and inside the church. In this case, church is living through the liturgical year, the history of salvation from incarnation, from the beginning and the end, which is the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, in the end of the of the of the calendar of the of the year, which is the. Uh, celebrating with the church the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Today the Holy Gospel actually was about the sower farmers who went out to sow his seeds, which was from Matthew chapter 13, verse 1 to 24. As uh, he was actually scattering the seeds, they fell in different places and different uh, ways and this is actually telling us about the sower is the our lord jesus christ and the seed is the word of god and the ground is us is our life uh, today uh, which received the word of god we confess that the ground without seeds will be without fruit in our life today we can say if we are without the word of god we are without fruit as is written Man shall not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Accepting the word of God in our life means faith. And the rest of it remains how we deal with it, how ready we are to accept the word of God in our life today. This depends on the nature of, of, of our ground, which is our life. But the truth is the sower sows the seeds and he accepts the fruit and the fruit and abundance and generosity as he is also generous with his ground. And when he went to, to scatter the seed, he actually spread it everywhere without exception. The sower went out and he knows that the ground must be prepared for, for planting. In the other world, our God believes and he is waiting for us to accept the word and to give a fruit in our life. And this annunciation, in this gospel, God is telling us this, that God planted in us his word and he is accepting from us to be good soil bearing fruits in abundance. Our, good, our God reached the heart of everyone. 
There is no exception to no, to no one. The word of God is everywhere. The problem is not the soil and the seeds. The problem remain on the ground which is inside us. If we want our lives to be good soil, this depends on our willing to accept the faith and the word of God and allow him to grow in us and through us without killing it with our dryness and, har and harshness or our, uh, or our desires. This is possible if you repent and go and go to the word of God and faith asking for forgiveness and renewal and repentance is not just by the word but through the fruits and honest work bear fruit 30 and 60 and 100 in our life. We can say the repentance actually shortens the distance to God. How can we repent the question is? The soil ground became a way and must be prepared for planting. And rocky places cleaned and thorns, thistles taken off so that the ground is prepared and ready to receive the word of God, the seeds of God in our life. That's why Jesus say, is said in the end of the parable, however has ear, let them hear. Everyone is invited to repent and to receive the word of God. But not everyone is ready for it. God is always waiting for us to repent and to be part of his people. I take no pleasure, God said, in the, God said, in the death of the weak, but rather that they turn from their ways and live. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11. Our repentance need to bear fruit through our deeds which are showing concern for the poor and needy people and our righteousness and our defense of the faith. The faith. We have to be part of reality in our life and keep the greatness, uh, uh, the, greed, the greediness away from our lives today. More importantly, in all of this, in all of this, it's that our repentance must be characterized by joy, and this cannot be done unless we are close to the sower, which is our Lord Jesus Christ, in our life. Therefore, our presence together and around the Eucharist is important and essential because we are, through our Lord Jesus Christ, becoming stronger to continue the march as a people of God. Our brother and sister in faith, let us receive the seeds of grace in our life and strive to, to give the fruits of rejoice, uh, to rejoice God's heart, God our Father, who hopes to bless and reconcile us through His grace, through this peace, we can build our friendship to Him and to our brother and sister, those which we uh, which we abandoned through our in, uh, inflexibility, the real reconciliation bring us back to the church, which is today is the body of Jesus Christ, uh, the Savior of our life. I mean, may the God of our Lord be blessed with you always. Let us all kneel down and ask our Lord to forgive our trespasses and our offenses and make us worthy to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 O oh, our good and merciful God, O oh, our good and merciful God, whose grace and compassion are poured out upon all, Pour out, my Lord, your compassionate kindness upon these your servants. Change them through the hope of renewal again to the changed life. Renew within them your Holy Spirit, which, with which they were sealed into the day of salvation. Purify them in your compassion from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Strengthen the hope of their faith through the assistance of your grace. Guide the steps of their ways in the pathway of righteousness and grant them delight with the sense of in your kingdom through the truth, through the truth of the hope of their faith 
in the adoption of son and gladness in, in, in the absolving mysteries. Strengthen them through the assistance of your mercies that they may keep your commands and fulfill your will and confess, worship, and praise your holy name, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Amen.
to pass away through your glorious holy life giving and divine mystery of Christ, the hope of all nature, always, forever. Amen. Christ, whom we have served, celebrated and honored in his glorious holy life, given and divine mysteries, deem us worthy of the assembly glory of his kingdom, of delight with his holy angels, of confidence before him, and of standing at his right hand in Jerusalem above through his grace and mercies, to whom be glory and upon us and all creation. May the right hand of his goodness rest now always and forever. And ever me. Bless your family. Allah barakhu khunna bitu na kurbana mukhun bi khaduta. Go with peace. Allah natulu. Amen.